What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Uh, Cats to decide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general collective reading um, for all signs. Uh, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,310 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 305. The link's in the description box below. Okay, so um, I know it's 2.31 a.m. on 5-1-2022, but I received a channeling in. I've been working all night. Me and my son was working all night um, organizing and getting some stuff cleaned up around the house and makes me feel so good got yard work done inside work done all kinds of work done but anyways um so but i received a channeling everybody they're in bed now so but i did receive a channeling so i'm going to deliver it um i might do some more um sign readings after this depending on um if i get anything for meditation so just let you guys know okay so the channeling I received was um, um, a masculine energy that once um, fed, I heard fed and sucked off another feminine energy for sexual energy. Um, it is currently backfiring on him in the universe. Um, I heard kids popping up everywhere. <sighs> that is what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, um, I also heard warlock energy too, just to let you guys know. So whoever this person is, they are skilled in the spiritual realm. Um, I feel um, they are dark arts um, because they are a sucker. They're energy sucker and succubus. Um, not like not to be confused with a femme succubus that has the sex demon attached to them. Not not that. Um, that's males are called incubuses uh he might be an incubus um he might have a sex demon attached to him um but the females are called succubuses and the males are called incubuses but he likes to energy suck like an energy vampire off of people feed off their energy feed off their energy um so he might be an incubus or he might not might not be i didn't hear he was but he is an energy sucker for sure for sure i heard that so um he, I feel he's dark side is what I'm trying to say. I feel he's dark side because light side beings don't suck off other people's energy because they don't have to because they have such positive, good energy they put out into the universe that there's, there's no reason for them to suck off other people's energy because they have their own good positive energy. So he definitely, I feel, is definitely dark side. Now, however, he was sucking off this femme energy's energy in the past. I'm not sure. Only he knows his story, not anybody else. But um, I heard it is it is backfired on him. Kids popping up everywhere. So it sounds like it's already uh, backfired on this masculine energy. Um, I don't know if this is um, pregnancy energy, physical children in the universe energy, or both. Um, but kids popping up everywhere, whether they are currently in utero or the or they are currently out into the universe already birthed. I'm not sure. Only this masculine energy knows his story, not anybody else. You might be connected to him, or you may not be. I'm not sure, but yikes. Um, he is a masculine energy warlock, so I think he is skilled in dark arts, skilled in the spiritual realm. Um, I think he, uh, absolutely, I think he is skilled in dark arts and skilled in the spiritual realm. I did not hear that. That is just my deductive logic of reasoning on this. Um, so much so, he sucked off of feminine energy, sexual energy in the past. So, that could have been physical sex that he sucked off her energy, or it could have been sucking, just sucking her energy, like being around her, sucking her energy. Um, or, yeah, yeah, however that resonates. Oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord. Woo! Um you can suck off somebody's energy in many different ways is what I'm trying to say. Um, sexual energy is the biggest form of energy sharing. So he could have sucked off her sexually, like intimately, 
or he could have just been around her and sucked off her energy. Um, however that resonates, but somehow he had access to a feminine energy, whether he actually had physical sex with her or he was just had access to her to where he could suck off her energy. Whoever this person is that he it sounds like past energy before this mess, hot mess. It sounds like she is a light side being. It sounds like she is a light side being um, because dark side beings don't suck off dark side beings. Um, they just don't um, because it doesn't benefit them. They suck off the light side beings. So um, whoever this person was in the past, he, them energy he sucked off in the past, she is a light side being. Ooh, however that resonates. Oh my gosh. I feel like narcissistic empathic dynamic there. I didn't hear that either. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning on that. But my goodness almighty, man, you plug it in how it resonates. Let me figure out which deck I want to use. Woo. That's something. But I heard kids popping up everywhere. So like I said, I don't know if this, I mean, I'm feeling this is many different feminine energies that he is impregnated. And I'm serious about this, whether they are currently pregnant with his child or children, or they already have child or children by him, or they're making him think that. I mean, I am a strong believer in paternity tests, um, period. <laughs> um, you know, if you, if you suspect, if you suspect, you know, being in a loving, stable, healthy relationship is one thing, but, um, this is definitely not a loving, stable, healthy relationship. I'll tell you that. Oh, my Lord. Okay, I shuffled three times. All three times I got pulled in labor on the bottom of the deck. Number 38 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 38, it could be a possible age of um, this person or someone they're connected to or you or somebody you're connected to or a lottery number, a date of birth number, a green card number, social security card number, jersey number, number 38, pulled in labor. This masculine energy is not happy and many more negative tower moments are coming. Many, 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 many more. Oh my Lord. I heard uh, this masculine energy is not happy and many more, basically a ton of more negative uh, tower moments are coming. So I think he's going to have to work really hard to pay a lot of child support. Is what I think, because we have total labor upright. I think he's about to work really hard to pay a lot of freaking child support. Um, I heard many kids popping up, so I'm thinking it's more than one feminine energy here. I mean, he's been busy, and this could be busy, busy, busy bee energy, like in the sexual department. Um, busy, busy making the babies, pulling labor, making the babies. I mean, more than one baby. Um, I'm thinking more than one woman. I'm serious. I think this is busy sexual energy and um, he's about to, I mean, unless he's a trust fund baby or um, has a large inheritance or has acquired some kind of large lump sum of money where he doesn't have to work, he's about to have to work really hard to pay a lot of child support is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. Dear God Almighty. Or this could be, yeah. That's exactly what I think. That's exactly what I think. Oh, my Lord. Spirit messages you have reflected. False person. And we have mature man. Number five or eight could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number five or eight uh, could be possible ages of children. This person already has or children these women already have or um, uh, or social security card number a green card number a jersey number or lottery number uh five or eight um mature man upright false person upright an aquarius is about to find out about this soon it's about to completely change their perspective on this person in a huge way 
and they will send communication to someone this person does not want is sent to, but it will happen. Oh my lord, so you plug it in how it resonates. So this dude has been a busy, busy, busy bee. Whoever this person is and how it resonates, I mean like busy sexually. Um, I'm feeling more than one woman. I mean, I'm feeling like babies all over the universe. And I'm serious about that. I hate to say that, but I am serious, serious, serious. But however that resonates, um, I heard an Aquarius is about to find out about this soon. Um, and they're about to, it's about to cause this Aquarius to look at this masculine energy in a completely different um, perspective here. Whoever this um, Aquarius is and however it resonates, you could be this Aquarius or you could be um, this masculine energy or you could be one of these women he's impregnated. How I mean, I strongly feel it's two plus women here, either currently pregnant or just had children by him or knows they have impregnated or knows they have a child by him and about to file for child support. I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug yourself in where you see it if you are part of this situation. Um, but there's some kind of Aquarius energy connected to this person. I, I didn't hear a sign on this masculine energy. Um, but I heard masculine or feminine Aquarius, whoever you are, Aquarius, um, I heard you're about to look at this person completely in this masculine energy in a completely different perspective. And I heard you're going to send communication to someone, um, that this person masculine energy does not want you to send it to, um, but you're going to do it. I, I probably, because you know, it's the right thing to do. Now, whoever this person is, you're going to send communication to, I'm not sure. For some, I, for some, he may be married, is what I'm feeling. For some, he may be married, and maybe you're going to send communication to the, the wife or the husband. Um, for some, it could be communication to someone else. Um, but communication to someone, he does not want you to send it to. For some, it could be a lawyer you're sending communication to. I mean, I can't imagine how these women, all these women aren't going to file for child support. And I'm just being serious. Um, that'd be a smart thing to do, and I'm serious. Um, so I don't, whoever this person, Aquarius, whoever you're going to send communication to, maybe he's married, legally married, maybe he's not, maybe it's a wife, maybe it's a husband, maybe it's not, maybe it's a lawyer, maybe it's not, maybe it's communication to someone else, maybe it's a communication to one of these women's parents, I mean, I don't know, but to communication to someone, you're about to send it to Aquarius regarding this situation, I heard he doesn't want you send, to send it, but you're going to. Whoever you are and how this resonates, Aquarius, um, you're significant in here. But we have false person upright and mature man upright. So um, basically, um, I'm taking this is the energy of this masculine. Basically, he's a hoe. And I mean, I'm not trying to be harsh on here. I'm just being real, for real. He's a hoe. He's a man hoe. And I'm serious about that. He is a freaking man hoe, man, whoever he is. Um... I don't care if he has five dollars in the bank or five million dollars in the bank he's a hoe he's a hoe you ever heard the uh song she's a hoe no no nay nay he's a hoe he's a hoe i mean i'm being serious he has wore a huge mask for a very long time but it's about to be ripped off ripped off So much has changed. Okay, I heard he's been wearing a false mask for a very long time, but it's about to be ripped off. Um, a lot has changed. So I think this is the energy of that of the hoey type masculine energy. I just don't know how to explain him, and I'm being serious. This is the energy of him. That's what I'm feeling. He's been false to the community. He's been false uh, to these women. He might have said he was um not seeing anybody else and in reality obviously he is um or he could have been lying about lying about something else or someone else or a situation or what have you um for some i feel these masculine energies could be married and they've been lying that they're to these all these women they that they're not married um for some it could be some other kind of situation or lying about something else however that resonates or several things um, but it's about to be exposed it's about to be exposed Whoever this masculine energy is and however it applies, um, 
in one's life. I did not hear a sign on this masculine energy, but I do feel he is, this is, this is his energy, whoever he is. He is false. He's coming off. He wants to come off in the community as a mature masculine energy. And you know, you can be 25, 35, 45, 55, 65 and be mature, or you can be 25, 35, 45, 55, 65 and be immature. He wants to come off in the community and the world as like he's mature, but he's wearing a huge false mask when in reality he's going around banging everybody and their mama. Um, that's not very mature and responsible. I hope he doesn't have some kind of disease. I didn't hear he did, but my God, how you going around banging all these people? How can you not? And I mean, eventually it's going to happen. I'm not saying he has a disease, but yikes. You plug it in how it resonates. I'm, I'm talking like sexually transmitted disease here. Ugh. Let me see if I hear anything else. There's about to be a huge fight soon between two of these women. It probably will turn physical. And the police will probably get it called. It will lead to other series of chain of events. Oh my lord. 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 Woo! That's my dryer. That's confirmation. Just saying. Oh my lord. Confirmation from my dryer. Oh my God, we got child on the bottom of the deck. You can't make this crap up. Oh, even if you wanted to. Oh my gosh. I heard there will probably be um, a an altercation between two of the women soon, probably physical. So these women, they're not very mature either, I'm feeling. I'm feeling these women are not very mature either. I feel he is low vibrational. And like I said, he could have $5 in the bank or $5 million. I don't know. It's not about money here. This is about vibrations, and he is not high vibrational, um, for sure. And he attracts low vibrational women, um, because I heard there probably will be an altercation between two of the women soon, probably physical. So much so that cops are probably going to get called, and when the cops get called, other negative series of chain events are going to occur. So if he was around high vibrational women, they wouldn't want to fight. They wouldn't want to argue. They would say, well, that's your choice that you made and walk away and go file child support and leave him alone and just get the money and go live their life happily. These women want to fight. It sounds like over the other woman. Oh, it's my, that's my dude or that's my kid and blah, 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 blah. Like they want to be aggressive. They want to fight. They want to argue. They want to cause beef and drama, um, you know, like competition energy uh, with the other women. If I was ever in this situation, I would just be like, okay, see ya, deuces. Um, you can pay me blah, 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 blah in child support. Uh, that's the choice you decide to make. That's just me. But I'm not into fighting and screaming and yelling and being an aggressor with other women fighting over a man either. Um, these women sound like they do. Like they want to fight over this man. And I don't know what, why they think he's so special because he obviously is not. He's a huge manipulator here. Um, from the spiritual downloads and the cards and this whole reading. But they seem to think he's the best thing since sliced cheese. I'm not sure why, but they do. But I think it's because he, they're low vibrational. And I'm serious about that. Um, we have child on the bottom of the deck. Number 18 could be a very significant number in one's life as well. Number 18, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, number 18. For one of these situations, a false marriage is very significant in here. Through many shocking series of chain of events, someone that was put in a false marriage of feminine energy is about to be a very, very, very rich, rich woman because of severe wrongdoings that was done to her in the past. People, high vibrational people are very tired of this shit and they should be. 
Oh my Lord. Wow. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So, okay. So there's two plus of these situations in the universe. One of them involves a false marriage. One does not. Is what it sounds like. But the one that involves a false marriage um, I heard, um, it sounds like he has put someone in a false marriage. It sounds like he has put somebody in a false marriage, but the person he's put in a false marriage, I'm sure doesn't know because it's false. Um, the other person has no freaking clue they're in a false marriage with this person because I'm sure they just did it for money. Why else would you put somebody in a false marriage? And that's just the truth. Um, I mean, I'm serious, but the one that involves a false marriage, I heard um, many shocking series of chain, negative series of chain events is about to occur for him. The one that put somebody in a false marriage and basically is holding around with all these women and they're popping up pregnant or popping up with kids or what have you. I don't know if they're currently in utero or popped out in the universe or both. I'm not sure. But he has put one of these masculine energies has put somebody in a false marriage. The person he put in a false marriage could have a child or children because we have the child card here. Um, but however that resonates, I heard many shocking negative series of chain events about to occur for him. And he's about to, um, somebody knows he put somebody in a false marriage. It might be this Aquarius. It might be you Aquarius. It might be somebody else. But many high vibrational people are getting sick of him. The one that put somebody in a false marriage, basically going around and just, being able to do whatever the fuck he wants to do, basically. Excuse my French, but I'm serious. Um, and knowing that he put this person, I heard it's a femme energy put in a false marriage. I'm sure she's been left out in the cold financially because she has no clue she's in a damn false marriage with him. But yet he's going out there hoeing around like hoes are us. Um, and I heard a lot of a high, vib high vibrational people are really getting sick of this. They're getting sick of this and they're about to expose it. So maybe the Aquarius is about to expose it to the one in the false marriage is what I'm thinking, Aquarius, um, if this resonates for you. Um, possibly. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But it sounds like at least one person that I put in a false marriage by this crazy hoser rust type masculine energy is about to, I heard she's going to be a very, very, very rich woman soon. But I think it's because... Um, I think he's rich. I think one of these masculine energies is rich, but he hasn't told the one he put in a false marriage that they're in a false marriage because he wants all the money and he wants to hoe around, but it's backfiring on him. She might be the one that he was energy sucking off of previously, the one he put in a false marriage, the high vibrational being, um, or not. I'm not sure. Only this person knows their story, uh, but dear God Almighty. But the one he put in a false marriage for the one that did put somebody in a false marriage, I'm sure she has no damn clue, but he's got a lot of low vibrational people around him and he's about to have a lot, a lot of babies. Either he already has a lot of babies or he's about to, or a mixture of both. And like I said, the one he put in a false marriage may have child or children. We have a child card. I mean, it's clear as day in here. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, man. Let me see if I hear anything else. Holy crap. Lots of information, high vibrational, high vibrational beings are about to expose a lot of information to the core system regarding this whole situation. He is about to be a very poor man and the one in the false marriage is about to be a very, very rich woman. Has endured a lot because of this person, unwillingly. Holy crap. Whoa. So we're pulling this person in a false marriage and very strong too. So the one that's in the false marriage. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's, it's obviously, it was obviously for money. Obviously, obviously. Uh, it sounds like he's got a lot of money. That one particular one that puts somebody in a false marriage, but he don't want to tell the person he put in a false marriage that he has a lot of money nor communicate with her. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, Cause he wants to keep all the money and go hoeing around. Obviously. <laughs> 
um, actions speak louder than words here. And I mean, I'm just saying. Um, but I heard a lot of, apparently a lot of high vibrational people, and I think in his community or that's connected to him knows this. And it sounds like some of these people either, I think they're, they work in the legal system in some shape, form, or fashion. I'm serious. Or they know people that work in the legal system, or they're going to communicate to people that work in the legal system, how that resonates in this person's life. But I heard a lot of communications about to go to the legal system soon regarding this situation. And it sounds like right now in the energetic space, he's a very, very rich man. But she, it sounds like she is not. It sounds like she's very, very, she's either poor or, or moderate. I didn't, I mean, I heard he's very, very rich. Um, and it sounds like the roles are about to flip and she's going to be very, very rich through a series of chain of events. It sounds like the high vibrational beings are about to create for her and make her very, very rich and make him very, very poor, um, which is going to, I am assuming, teach all these player people that just it's i don't know if they wanted him for money or try to trap him for money or what have you i'm not sure um but it sounds like it's going to switch the roles because i heard she's had to do her endure a lot because of him um unwillingly so she I, he basically pulled her into a bunch of shit she didn't want to be in but yet he goes out with all this money and clout and fame and etc cetera, etc cetera, She's probably out there working her ass off, and that might have been what the toll and labor was, too, in here. Um, and he knows this. But high vibrational beings, and you may be the high vibrational being that's about to create these series of chain events through the legal system, with the communication to the legal system, about to expose all this shit so she can get financially compensated for all the crap he's put her through. Um, and maybe her child or children, if she has child or children, um, and then flip it around on him. And then he's going to have to go work hard to pay child support for all these children he's either already created in the universe or is currently creating in the universe or a mixture of both um, to create balance and fairness in this situation. Um, because it's illegal as hell to put somebody in a false marriage. I'm surprised if he doesn't go to jail or prison. Um, over this false marriage. And I'm serious because anybody who puts anybody in false marriage should go to, they should go to prison. And I'm serious about that. That's highly illegal. Highly. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. And honestly, I think the feminine energies that were coming after him for money that I'm sure probably some of them knew he was married in a false marriage. I mean, I feel they should get negative karma too. Now, of course, I'm not the spiritual realm and I'm not God or the universe. Or, I mean, I'm not any of that. I'm just the channeler from the spiritual realm. But what I'm saying is, if you go after somebody for their money, karma should come around for you. <laughs> I mean, yes, you should get financially compensated um, for child support. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is, if you, you strictly go and try to entrap somebody for money, you should receive negative karma too is the way I look at it, but, you know, I'm just the channeler from the spiritual realm. <laughs> That's just my take on it. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped, and namaste.